All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99 back with another quick post fight analysis video. All right, y'all, the co main event last night Tatiana Suarez versus Jessica Andrade. Shout out to Tatiana, man. She made a return back to the division. And shout out to Andrade. I mean, you know, she continues to take these short notice fights and, you know, just, just get back in there, you know, and take one of the best fighters. So, you know, I can't knock her when it comes down to it. But, you know, um, Suarez, this girl's a beast. And I was questioning whether Suarez would be at her fullest potential. You know, it's been four years since she's been at 115, but she ain't missed a beat, man. She ain't missed a beat. But um, I had to use this picture right here, man, because I had to put this thumbnail up here because I was impressed, even on this level with Tatiana striking. You know, when hearing everybody else saying how bad it was and how raggedy her hands were, I've never seen it like look that bad before. Like, I've never seen her striking look like to the levels of some of these other girls that just don't even touch anybody. But I like what it was looking like. You know, I liked what, you know, she was bringing to the table as far as, you know, her form, you know, her form was solid. You know, she was using a, just putting on a good rangy fight, you know, um, just using pretty good form and calmness and lateral movement when you're taking on a known wild pressure fighter like Andrade. You know, some girls, they just crumble to it and they just back straight into the cage or they overcommit or they just get that uh, anxiety. You know, they get that striking anxiety where, they just start throwing something and they get caught by Andrade, you know, but she followed the blueprint of the last few girls. This was like a mix of Jan Jalan and Aaron Blanchfield. You know, she used the striking and then boom, she ended the fight like Aaron Blanchfield. She passed that test, right? Uh, real quick, the first round, you know, Suarez, she used some nice kicks to the body, measuring with her jab, you know, just using the jab as a measuring stick in this in this fight, you know, from the southpaw stance and just throwing some nice left kicks to the body, uh, front kicks to the stomach just to, you know, continue to land something on Andrade and keep her range. Andrade, she was just overcommitting to the low kicks. You know, them low kicks she'd be throwing to the calf that just make her whole body spin, which was leaving her wide open. And I thought Suarez could have took her down right then, but Suarez just stayed on the, uh, she just stayed on the back foot striking. Uh, for Andrade to get picked off by a starting striker like this, who's just improving, already shows you that, you know, Suarez has been working. You know, she's been working. And it just shows you Andrade, really abandons her game you know she said she was going back to the basics uh, but it just shows you that you know she doesn't adjust as a puncher or a pressure striker you know so again Suarez just measuring her time you know me measuring measuring and just timing her till finally she she dips under she times that wild right hook get goes for the ankle takes Andrade to the ground and shows you that good top control shows you the physical strength uh, goes back to the feet though you know I got to give Andrade credit. She was able to scramble out, get back to her feet, but she like got right into a hold of Suarez where Suarez was just landing some heavy knees, putting that weight on her back, knees to the face, knees to the body. Andrade really looked like she was just kind of going through the motions at this point and just didn't really have any answers for, you know, Suarez's game um, first round. So like I said, Andrade, she always has that danger factor. But in this one here, it was like when she was eating kicks to the stomach and, you know, just getting out muscled in the first round. She was just kind of going through, you know, the steps and just kind of waiting for that big moment. If it came, if it didn't, she was just going to be open to be be finished, which leads us into the second round. Suarez, you know, throwing a variety of kicks made me feel a little bit more confident in her growth. You know, she was front kick to the body, head kick to the face, you know, throwing the side kicks. So um, from here, you know, just working head and body made it easier for her to shoot for the takedown. You know, like I said, master takedown with good striking. And that's what she did, you know, on the back foot. Like she was going to throw another kick. Boom, she shoots straight in, gets Andrade on her back. When Andrade, you know, is on her back this time, she's actually able to kind of scramble out. But again, that wrestling man, Suarez got that head on lock. When she gets back up, she just flips it back over to the ground and locks in that guillotine. And you know what it is from there, man. Second guillotine in a row for Tatiana Suarez on her comeback, man. So, yeah, shout out to Suarez. Uh, definitely, like I said, thanks to her striking, that's what really set up her her major strength. You know, the, the striking set up her major strength. Uh, you know, she picked her opponent apart and got it back into the water where she wants to be to drown Jessica Andrade, you know, and that's how it's supposed to be. You know, you, you've got to mix it up sometimes. You know, you want to work on your strengths all the time. You want to use that over and over. But um, you, sometimes you have to do something different. And they were like polar opposites. You know, you got Suarez who likes to wrestle but she used that she used that second that tool in her belt, right? That second that second gear 
to get what she wanted. Whereas Andrade, you know, she's not knocking anybody out anymore, you know, if, if she can't get in on a range and, you know, if she's not being smart. So, again, Andrade continues her losing streak. That's three in a row. Um, what's next for Andrade? At this point, I think she needs to maybe take the rest of the year off because she, she took some of those other fights so close back to back, you know, like one month after a, another against some really high level fighters dangerous fighters so i think take the rest of the year off you know that's four already you know in the in the span of eight months so take the rest of the year off work on some things or just you know give her body a break you know just give her body a break whether or not she's just coming back to fight again or go for a title shot you know she's got a lot of work to do um i think if she does come back next year uh fighting down is definitely something that she needs to do maybe whenever Tisha Torres makes her come back in the spring or something. They, they could do a rematch. Um, maybe Luana Pinheiro, that's a name for. Denise Gomes is also a name for. That's an exciting fight. So at this point, she's kind of in the exciting fighter realm, not really in the title shot realm, right? So that's where I see she needs to, she needs to go. Um, 2024, make her return against some of the lower level fighters. Um, as for Tatiana Suarez, though, um, I don't see title shot for her because just because she beat Andrade doesn't lead to a title shot. Y'all know I'm a Suarez fan. I rock with her. But let's be real. You know, Yan Zhanan beat her first, right? So Yan Zhanan is waiting in line. Yan Zhanan has made the improvement. She's got her little win streak going. Uh, so now Yan Zhanan would probably return in maybe November, December against the winner, Wei Li versus Lamos. Either one, I think, should be her, her shot, even if Lamos was to win. And in the meantime, Tatiana Suarez, like I said, she would come back in like November, December. Let it be Mackenzie Dern because I know Verna Jandaroba has surgery. So she's going to be out maybe till next year. So until then, Mackenzie Dern, that's a good fight. You know, I think Suarez is striking. It looks is looking a little bit better. But let's see what Suarez wrestling can do against the jujitsu of Mackenzie Dern. And let's see how strong Mackenzie Dern is against this powerful wrestler that's growing in her striking. Right. Looks a lot better, in my opinion. But. Still need to see it in the cage. Make that fight happen November, December. Guys, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.